Hi everyone, it's Linnea for LDRS Creative, and today I'm going to be creating an adorable little truck scene using the Farmer's Market dies from HSN. This is a large die set. There are 62 dies in this set, and it's going to let you build not only the truck we're going to be building today, but you can create a little farmer's market cart. There are lots of fruits and veggies, little bunnies, tons of flowers. There's even little pieces to build jars of jam. So lots of different things you can do with this die set. I do have another video on the LDRS Creative YouTube channel using the dies to build a little cart to have a little stand with the cart. Don't forget when you get these dies home to flip over the packaging because you're going to find little ideas on the back of the packaging. You're also going to find an instructional sheet inside of the packaging that's going to outline exactly what dies cut what pieces and how to build them to create the various pieces for your scene. So for this card we're going to be using pretty much the top half of this instruction sheet. We're going to be creating the truck and the truck bed and it's important that I tell you that the truck bed also doubles as that little farmer's market cart that I talked about earlier. So I've already gone ahead and I've cut out my pieces and we're going to start by assembling the truck bed or also what would be the cart if you're going for that farmer's market cart look. So you're going to need the larger rectangle and the smaller rectangle and I'm going to layer those together. And then I also have that skinny strip that's going to go right across the top of the truck bed and that's either going to serve as the counter for your cart or as just that accent piece, that piece of metal that goes across the top of truck beds. I'm using just tiny little bits of adhesive. I have a needle nose on my glue bottle and really you just need tiny, tiny drops. What you see there is I have a scratch piece of paper and if I think I get too much glue, I just dab it off on that scratch piece of paper because I don't want a whole bunch of glue to seep out onto my project. So I've added these few pieces together and I'll set that aside and I'm going to start working on the body of the truck. I am doing a pretty much a monochromatic green on green truck today and I have three different shades of green, a light, a medium, and a dark. But like you'll see on the back of the packaging, you can go totally crazy and create unique, fun, and peppy trucks. So I'm just going ahead here, I've added the window, I have the door, don't forget the tiny little piece for the door handle, and then I'm adding the hood of the truck, and then I'll add the bumpers, and the headlights, the door handle, all the pieces that go, that, that make the truck, I'm going to use liquid adhesive, and glue all of those pieces together. Now if you have big hands like I do, you might want to use some tweezers. I used a mix of tweezers or a pickup stick for my um, creating today. Here's where I'm adding the headlights for the truck and I've switched over to that pickup stick and I'm using, once again, tiny little drops of glue. I've cut these out from gray, but yellow would be a great choice as well. I just didn't happen to like the way the yellow looked with the green truck, so that's why I went with gray. I also have um, the, the little side mirror for the truck that I did in gray, and I'm going to add those pieces on as well. Once I have the truck assembled, I'm going to glue the bed of the truck on to the back of that little, it's not really a hitch, but it's the part of the truck that juts out to the right. I glued that together and then I pieced together the two tires as well. And to do that, I just put a piece of foam tape behind the donut part of the tire and then popped that center right in. Now it's time to fill up the bed of the truck. And to do that, I have some of my vine type fruits and veggies. I have a watermelon and I attached some greenery to that. And then I also cut two different types of pumpkins or gourds and I added just a thin line of adhesive across the top of that the bed of the truck and I'm going to 
add those fruits and veggies in and then just add a piece of foam tape across the back and that's going to allow me to pop up my truck but also gives me a secondary way to keep those fruits and veggies in the back of the truck. I cut a crate from some light brown cardstock and then I have a bunch of veggies. I have a carrot here that I need to add the, the little greenery to the top of. I have a radish and that gets a greenery piece as well. Don't forget to check out that instruction sheet that comes in the back of your packaging because it that will show you exactly what the little dies look like. But it's pretty, once you know what dies go with what, you can cut this a million times and you'll be a pro in no time. I also have a pear that I added one of the leaves to. And then off to the right there, the little tiny pieces. This is a lemon that I have and then I also have an apple. And I love that the apple you can cut from red, green. There's apples that are kind of like an orangey, red, yellow. So you can create a whole bushel of apples of different colors if you want to. I'm going ahead and just adding little pieces of glue across the back of this crate and then I'm sticking the veggies in one at a time just layering them in front of and behind each other so it looks like it's just a fresh picked crate of fruits and veggies. Once I get all those pieces in I will add some foam tape across the back just like I did with the bed of the truck. That's going to help me keep all of those pieces in place while that liquid glue dries and sets up. I also cut a basket from some cream colored cardstock and then I have a bunch of flowers and I'm going to piece these together too. Some of the flowers I will layer together and some of them I'm just going to leave on their own. And I do have teeny tiny little white centers for all of the flowers. So I'm using my little sticky tool here and just placing those, layering them up and just kind of having fun. I love that you can cut these flowers from whatever color cardstock you want, layer them up however you want. I have this little stem here and I'm going to add a flower onto one of those. And then, as you can see in my little container there, I have two other leaves that I'm going to assemble once I have all the flowers in place. I'll just kind of tuck them in and have the leaves sticking out here and there. All right, so all of those little die pieces are all set up and set to the side, and I'm going to start working on my card. I'm kind of stepping outside my comfort zone and I'm creating a five by seven card today. So I have a layering panel which measures four and three quarter inches by six and three quarter inches. So it's just a little bit smaller than a five by seven card. And I have the old brick wall stamp from LDRS Creative and I have some alloy ink and I'm just going to stamp this once and it doesn't have to be perfect. I just kind of wanted to have a little bit of texture in my background. I have some other pieces here. I have a green piece of cardstock that's going to be the background for my card. So that's going to go right onto that 5x7 card base. Then I'll layer the white piece on top with some foam tape. And I have a gray piece of cardstock as well, and that's cut to the same width. So that's four and three quarter inches wide, and it's two inches tall. That's just going to serve as the road, so kind of like the ground. It, you need something to ground your scene. And for me, that's just this simple little strip of cardstock. From here, all that's left to do is grab my pieces, pop them up with foam tape, and just arrange them however I want. So I know I want my truck to be riding right along the road. I have the little basket of flowers and the crate of veggies. And then I went ahead and cut one of each of the bunnies included in the farmer's market dies. And I'm going to finish my scene, pop a sentiment up near the top center of my card, and this is finished. Don't forget to check out the LDRS Creative YouTube channel for that other video where I create the farmer's market cart on a card. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.